Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be giving a demonstration as to how I make my return journeys what I think is a bit easier. I find it really um, annoying sometimes that when I make a nice wiggly ziggy route to go somewhere and then when I want to come back, I've either got to go with whatever my Garmin recommends or some other app recommends when actually I might just want to come back the same route. Of course, in my route app, you can go from A to B and then B to C. But that, when planning it, that just makes it messy because then you end up with double lines along the same road, which is hard to edit. So I'm going to show you how I do it. So this is how I do um, a nice route there and a nice route back, uh, both of which I can edit if I want to. So st stick around. Here comes the instructional part of the video. I'll be with you right now. So I've got my My Route app um, um, account open, and I have a route here which is um, uh, uh, it's just called Bike Stop because it's a shop not far from me that uh, is a motorcycle shop. So I'm going to go and click on this route just to show you the route. And you'll see, I think it's about 10 points, 10 shape points. It is from start to finish, 10 shape points. Perfect. This is what I want to use. So let's just go uh, back. And the first thing I need to do is to make a copy of this route. So all I have to do very, very simply is click on this icon right here. This one, the second one in from to the right from the left. It looks like it's two files and you click on copy. And I want to I don't want it to say bike stop copy. I'm going to say call it bike stop return and say save and then you'll see you have another another route which is now called bike stop return so i'm going to go and click on bike stop return but that's just the name that hasn't changed anything yet so now i need to go reverse the route so i'm going to come up to my page menu and then i'm going to go to my toolkit and i'm going to go into oh, no sorry wrong place i'm going to come to my toolkit and I'm going to come down to where it says reverse and click on reverse route and it will go and reverse it. But we haven't finished yet. We need to do some other thing or I need to do some other things to this route. This picture, by the way, is not one that I've posted. It's some, but one that somebody else in my route app has posted. And uh, I can just go and have a quick look at that if I want to. And yeah, that's nice. So this now is my start point. And down there, number 10 is my end point. I like my start and end points to be colored. Um, that's just a little thing that I do. So my start point is going to, or my go point is going to be green. So I'm going to change this to uh, green. And speaking of go points, I want to change this now and make this my starting point. That way my Garmin Sumo XT doesn't get confused. And I'm going to call this my go point. And there we are. We've now got that done. Um, now, you might there is a, going to be an error down here. I'm pretty certain of it for the one way system down here. But let, let me go through it. So let's go and uh, click on my first waypoint. I'm going to click on magnify. That's exactly where I want it to be. And I'm going to come along to my next waypoint. My next waypoint is directly on the line. Now, here's the tip. Make sure you are using the the Garmin or the here map We've got the here map uh, route not the other ones although I do use uh, Google Maps to plot routes because it has more detail in it you need this one to correct to make the corrections on the route before you export the GPX file so that's correct that's on the line that's perfect let me just whiz through them quickly that's on the line that's on the line that's on the line and I bet you the next one or the next one is that's on the line that's on a line, not far off, and it won't be on the line. Ah, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. So on the way out, I went down uh, down this road, uh, down this road rather, and now it wants to try and put me back on the same way and have me going round the roundabout for every day. So if you have a fault like this, you just go correct it and pop that back on the side of the road that I want to be on. And here in the left hand, in the UK, we drive and ride on the left hand side of the road. And then uh, come along to here and you'll see that's my end point and all done. So that is now now I have a I have a start point, which is my the end point of my previous route. 
And if I wanted to, I could go and change this route to whatever I wanted. I could, for example, uh, say I'm going to come back a different way. I'm going to come back down here and then I'm going to come back over here. Uh, and then I'm going to come back over. I don't know. I'm making a bit of a pig's ear of it, to be honest with you. I'm going to come back over here and whatever I wanted to do, I might want to do that. Well, I don't want to do any of those. I'm going to undo them all by pressing Command and Z or Control and Z on a Windows machine or a Linux machine, and that will undo it all. And I have my roots. So just to confirm, go back to my 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 root app list. I now have bike stop return, and I might change this. Let's say I wanted to change this route now to this this name now to be something a bit more interesting. I might want to change it to bike stop go for example so i can just go here's my original route i can come back up to here i can go to my my route information and i can change this to bike stop go or out or whatever you want and of course now in my route app you can change your route mode from uh whatever whatever you happen to be i haven't yet worked out the difference between motorcycle and car which is what it used to be if anybody can I know what the difference with motorhome is. It gives extra information. If anybody knows the difference between motor motorcycle and car routes in my route app, please do post it in the comments so I can dig into it and make a video about it. I have no idea what it is. Anyway, so there you go. I hope you found that useful. Uh, please do subscribe. Please do give me a thumbs up. Uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch this video all the way to the end. Thank you very much. Safe riding, safe driving, and I will see you in the next one.